Hey there guys, it's your boy 12th Creep Death, also known as Daniel, and today we're opening the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Saga pack. Well, box, I'm um, here. So, here we have three packs. Um, so, new cards from every TV show. Have a have a look at the back here. Um, all new Ultra Rare technology. Um, collect memorial cards from the entire history of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. With Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Saga, this special set features new cards from all five incarnations for Yu-Gi-Oh! So that would be Duel Monsters, GX, 5Ds, Zexile, um, and then Arc V. Obviously, Vrains is not included in this one yet, I don't think. <laughs> so, um, I might, actually I might review the Vrains structure deck later, we'll see about that one. Um... All five incarnations of Yu-Gi-Oh! Make from both the manga and the animated series, as well as cards inspired by some of the coolest monsters and concepts from each series. This Duelist Sir Sega box contains three packs, with five foil cards each, for a total of 15 cards per pack. The Duelist Saga complete set includes 100 cards, with all new Ultra Rare technology. So we're going to be getting 15 of these 100 cards. But shall I tell you what, this is... Literally amazing value for money. You can get these from ranging from about fifteen to ten pounds in in British, um, and you're gonna get fifteen ultra rares, and and that's just a, like solid, you know, like pound for an ultra rare. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> like, like that's that's great. I I love that, and the designs on the packs as well are just really nice. What I really want is a Black Rose. I'm down for a Black Rose Dragon in one of these packs. I really am. Like, you, you, you don't understand how much I would, like, love an actual Black Rose Dragon in one of these packs. So, if I can take him out... Oh, there we go, right. Sorry for that weird noisy. So, there we go, open it up. I do love the designs on these packs as well. I mean, look at that. They are really nice, aren't they? Five cards per pack, and task set includes 100 cards with all new Ultra Rare technology. So, this is, like, new. Um, so, <laughs> obviously, but... Um, really, what we're looking at here is just, like, a bit of beautifulness. Um, like, honestly, if they sold all new 100 Ultra Rare cards for 100 quid, I, 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 do you know what, I would go for that. Like, I really would. They're, they are just such amazing art. Like, the art is amazing. The... The fact that's guaranteed ultra rares is amazing. You, you know, there are old cards for the old Gen 1ers, like that. You have all the new cards as well to update your decks. And it, oh, it, 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 this is just a beautiful set. I really love it. This was the last one left in the shop when, when I got to it. So, obviously, they're, they're flying off the shelves and Konami have done well, to be honest. Well done, Konami. You, you've done well this time. <laughs> but, obviously, for those of you who have been, channel, have been on my channel for a while, you know how it is. I'm going to open them. I'm not going to look. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to get back, right back to you. See you. And, okay, we are back. As you can see, I've opened packs. I've not had a look at them. Like I said, the main thing I want out of this is is just a black rose. So first pack, first card, please be a good one. Okay, a Goyo Guardian, you know, 2800 attack, 2000 defense, Warrior Sync for effect. Um, you know, Earth Attribute, one Earth Tuner, one on one on tuners. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your field in defense position. I really should be saying GY instead of graveyard because that's the new term now. Well, we've been using it, but, you know. Oh, 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 yes, look at that. Oh, yes, yes. This is what we like to see. A Constella Lotomy. 
Um, M7, I don't know how to pronounce that, but... Oh, oh, are you seeing this? Ah, oh, oh my god. 2700 attack, 2000 defense. That is beautiful. Machine exceeds effect. Two level six monsters. You can also exceed some of this card by using a Constar. Um, exceeds monster you control as that exceeds material other than this card. Exceeds materials attached to that monster also become exceeds materials on this card. If summoned this way, the following card effect cannot be activated this turn. And um, once per turn, you can detach one exceeds material from this card and then target one monster on the field in or in either player's graveyard. Return that target to the hand. I know I should be saying X Y Z, but you know it's just a bit faster to say exceeds. Okay, okay. I mean, a silent angler there. Level 4, 800 attack, defense 1,400, obviously, it's about the fact with this one. If you control a water monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, but you cannot special summon monsters from your hand for the rest of the turn. Obviously, you will, you're you wanting to summon this in defense mode, um, and maybe use it for some other fact in terms of your fish deck. A Direbound Colonel. Like, this is going nicely, guys. I'm really enjoying this. Um, attack, 1,800. Defense, 1,200. Fiend effect. When this card declares an attack, it gains 600 attack during either player's turn. Oops, sorry. Um, you can tag one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses attack equal to this card's coming attack until the end of this turn. Then banish this card until the standby phase of the next turn. You can only use this effect about Diebound Colonel once per turn. The last card of this first pack. Let's see. Dark Summoning Beast. Can I get the focus on it? Maybe not. There we go. Dark Attribute, level 5. Attack 0, Defense 0. It's obviously the effect. Um, you can trip this card. This is special summon. Uriel, Lord of Saving Flames. Lord of Striking Thunder. Oh. Lord of Sh or Lord of Striking Phantoms from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, you ignore it. Also, monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only use the effect of Dark Summoning Beast once per turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Uriah, Lords of Searing Flames, hand Lord of Strike Thunder, or rather Lord of Thunders from your deck to your hand, and you ignore those summoning conditions, and that is the most important thing about this card. You're gonna want this in in any deck which contains those cards. Please focus. You know. Well, that was the first pack actually, so let's move that out of the way for now. Pack number two. Oh my lord! We packed a magician, a dark dark magician of chaos, guys. We we packed a dark magician of chaos. This is just a good day. This is just such a good day. Attack 2800, defense 2600, but that doesn't matter because look at this. During the end phase, if this card was normal, special summon this turn, you can target one spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of Dark Magician of Chaos once per turn. If this if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle after damage cal calculation, banish that opponent's monster. If this face-up card will leave the field, banish it instead. Right, that's a great way to start the second pack, and actually this was the Yugi pack as well, so Yugi art pack, so that, that works. Soul charge, spell card, you know how it is. Target any number of monsters in graveyard, special summon them, if you do, you lose a thousand life points for each monster, special summoned by this effect, you can cannot conduct your battle phase of the turn, you activate this card, you can only activate one soul charge per turn, obviously. <sighs> I mean, Gozuki, Earth Attribute, level 4, attack 1,700, um, defense 1,800, during your main phase you send one zombie type monster from your deck to your graveyard, if this card is sent, from, is sent to the graveyard, you can banish one zombie type monster from your graveyard, except Gozuki, special summon zombie type monster from your hand, you can only use each effect of Gozuki once per turn. Obviously, that's a must have for any zombie decks. Fourth one, Sea Lord's Amulet. It's um, a continuous spell card. Send this card to the graveyard during your opponent's third end phase after activation. Monster monsters, water monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is a really nice extra thing to have. It works sort of like a field spell, but in the graveyard in a way, I like that. 
Oh. My. God. No way. We got number 17 malevolence in. Guys. Are you seeing this? We got a pack art, guys. We got a pack art. Oh. My. Lord. This is a good day. <laughs> this is a good day, guys. Attack 2400, defense 1200, two level four monsters to summon it. Insect exceeds effect. Once per turn, you can detach one exceeds monster from this card and then target one monster to your opponent's controls. Banish it until your opponent's next standby phase at the end of the damage step. If this card, if this card attack, you can make this card gain 300 attack, and if you do, increase its rank by three. Okay, last pack. I mean, that's a way to end a pack. Like, you know, right, here we go. Oh my, I mean, Effect Veiler, you know? You know, sure. Level 1 attack 0, defense 0 is obviously Effect. Spellcaster tune Effect. During your opponent's main phase, you can send this card from your hand to your graveyard and target one face up effect monster your opponent controls. That face up monster your opponent controls has its effects negated until the end of this turn. This is a quick effect, obviously. Oh my god. Mirror Force. Yes. 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 I love... You People don't realise how much this card is beautiful. Like, this card is just the ultimate trap card apart from the Magic Cylinder. I love it so much. If you don't know what Mirror Force does and you play Yu-Gi-Oh, what are you doing? It, it, it's just glorious. When an opponent's monster declares an attack... Destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. Do I even need to say it? Right. Card 3 on this pack. Okay. Skydive Scorcher. Destiny Heroes, isn't it? This is this is GX. As far as I remember, Jaden had this in his deck. Um, please get the focus, I beg. No. Okay, it doesn't like focusing right now. Uh, yeet. So guys, while I'm trying to get this focus, maybe it would be nice if in the comments below, you, s you could say what you want me to do next. Here we go. Target one elemental hero, fusion monster you control, destroy as many monsters your opponent's controls as possible with attack higher than that monsters, then inflict damage to your Opponent equal to the highest original attack among those destroyed monsters in the graveyard. Your choice if tied. If a skyscraper field spell card is in your field zone, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined attack of those destroyed monsters in the graveyard instead. So obviously, that's a really nice one to have in any elemental hero decks. Um, Double Fin Shark. That's a nice one. Level 4. Attack 1000, defense 1200, fish effect. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level 3 or 4 water fish type monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position, but it has its effects negated. You cannot special summon any monster this time you activate this effect, except water monsters. This is the last card of the three packs, guys. Let's hope it's a good one. And it's a death shark. I mean, water attribute, level 5, defense, 0, attack 1200. 1,400, I don't know why I said 200, fish effect, if you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, this card's attack becomes double on its current attack until the end of this turn. So, that was a really nice pack opening guys, like, that was so nice, like, you, you actually don't understand, that was really nice, this is a great value for money pack here. Um, and I think I'm going to keep this pack because, um, not keep it, but like keep the pack art because that, that, those are just so nice as well. And, um, what's also nice about this is, is it all like links and it, it, this is just nostalgia for everyone who's watched the anime, I suppose, like, um, that second pack, I feel, was just amazing. The third pack had a great start as well. And the first pack had a few good ones as well. Everything has a few good ones, I think, actually. So, that's what we got today. You know, 
that that's just really nice uh, like especially this like it's, it's like there what was it a sign like I said, I wanted the black rose, but I didn't get that. Might open more of these packs to see if we can get that. And guys, sorry for the lack of Pokemon content recently. I haven't seen any packs or really cards that interest me in buying and reviewing them for you guys. So, I will try to get on that for next time. But next time I might do a sort of deck review of the new um, Vane's deck, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vane's deck. Um, I might do that. So, it, it it depends. What do you guys want? Put it in the comments below. And we will see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Cheerio!